Hello everybody, Dead and Dex Play Games here, I'm Dawn. This is Dex. Welcome back. Yeah. The wing has been repaired. The thrusters have been repaired. We had two left of those, so uh, the next time we lose those, we're kind of screwed. <laughs> um, Botlight's back. As, uh, as know-it-all DM got a good laugh out of us, Dax. Uh, he says that uh, we're averaging... Um, one lost spotlight every other episode. Yeah. And I'm like, my response was like, it can't have anything to do with my horrible, horrible piloting skills. It must be that the Xerax hate spotlights. Now, the good thing is they're shooting at the spotlights. Which are easy to replace versus the guns or the cockpit. <laughs> so could be worse. Yeah. Um, we have a plan. Uh had another night where I didn't sleep very well, so you'll notice that I have a, have a few flags around the map. Um, I went around, because I remembered, finally remembered, that in the registry, CVs don't show up. The ones that are actual recoverable CVs. They're shown as wreckages with no, no map icon. You have to scan them down and you have to find them. So I went around our local area, and I found a bunch of them. Got two of them that are basically just north, slightly west from our base. They're one grid over due north. So the other thing I did, and it took many, many trips. I stopped counting at a dozen trips. The, uh, the junk drone, which you'll see, is no longer on my HUD. It had not despawned yet. I happened to come across it in my search for the CV Rex and it was hovering in the air fell to the ground it was still in the same damage state that it was and I had to repair my um, my multi-tool a couple times run back and forth making more uh, salvage charges and completely overloading the mule several times and absolutely abusing the connected toolbar um, bug, glitch, exploit, whatever you want to call it. It worked. So, I recovered every bit of it, including the uh, the carbon blocks. We got 41 carbon blocks, we've got 423, it's mostly hardened steel, uh, and then 140 steel blocks, and I got all four of the generators out of it, I got all, it had six Large fuel tanks, uh, had a bunch of medium thrusters, which I can't fit in here based off of the volume. Uh, we'd already gotten the cockpit, and the pentaxid tank, unfortunately, was unrecoverable, because on the original salvage operation of it, the storage got filled up when Dax was trying to um, pick it up, and it just became a crate on the ground, and we couldn't pick it up. So, lost to the ether. Uh, so... Next time it respawns, we will have to uh, gun it down and take out the pentaxid tank. That's the only thing we're missing for a warp-capable CV. So, what the plan is. I've got loaded up in the mule two generators, one cockpit. Wish we had a second cockpit. This would make it a little bit easier. Uh, two fuel tanks, thrusters, and in the ESC... I'll just look at it here. We've got fuel and more fuel. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over and hopefully it's the two that I'm kind of looking to recover because uh, there's there's two different uh, two different styles. There's three of each that I've found so far, and there's there's probably a few more scattered around. Um, I pretty much just kind of stuck around our local portion of the planet so there might be some more i mean i did range out a little bit for these two but yeah we're gonna go out uh we're gonna go due north oh yeah not you Perfect. use the glitch Again. Uh, 
Lift off, and we're going to go due north. Raise my sensitivity on the mouse a little bit. Okay, I am ready when you are, Dax. All loaded up. If I can find it. And without a blonger. be just on this heading and I do got to make sure that we don't go into the area because there is a junkyard defense up there that I would rather not get shot by these are the two that I think are the most recoverable based off of the fact that the junk defense is the farthest away from That's one of them, and the other one is back here. There's that style, and then the other one... Yeah, so I was kind of hoping for two of these ones, uh, with the idea of kind of merging them together into one bigger ship. Um, both... Longer, wider, and taller. Um, so I will start on this one. Hopefully I remember to bring both of my... I do have two claim cores. And I'm hoping that one of these has a uh, landing gear. Devices. Uh, you don't have a landing gear at all. Ugh. Unfortunate. You do have a cockpit. I now need to kill 10 Cyrex drones. Oh, not say a cockpit. What are you? Oh, you're a passenger. Okay, fine. Get you out of there. Let's switch. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting the mule does not have... Oh... My ship. Can't have it. We're trying to steal our ship, Dax. Our ship. Can't have it. Keep forgetting the mule does not have a Wi-Fi yet. Connect. Uh, we need thrusters. We need one fuel tank. At that. Oh, son of a... Let's get... Got to hit. Thought I was in my drone, but I wasn't. Okay, connect the toolbar. So, we're just gonna slap you down. Probably going to need you to move out of the way, Dax. That. These drones need to despawn, so I will move on to the... Ruster placements. Yep. Hit the right buttons. Hit the hit the right buttons. One there.
One there. This will be that direction. Flap uh, one over here for this direction. Now we need an up and a down. Drone, drone is not really there. Down. And we need up. Okay. It should be flyable then. Can't take off basically any weight in it. I mean, these generators do weigh a lot. They are 13.4 tons just in and of themselves. Dock to the top up here. Oh, not factioned. I always forget that. <laughs> that is a weird, weird seat. Yes, it is. Now, are we going to be able to lift off? Statistics, uh, cargo lift available, 551 tons. Perfect. Now, we should have thrust in all directions. I need to fuel it. I need to put the fuel tanks in. And the generator. And the damage. Go here. Fuel tank. And a generator. You guys were probably screaming at me in the comments. It doesn't have a generator. It doesn't have a fuel tank. You would be correct. Friction. You can go there and. You can go there. Now. Go to the ESC, which should be close enough. At now, I should be able to take off. Okay, I'll meet you at the other wreck, Dax. Oh, come on. Camera is completely glued. Fine. We'll just get out. Okay, and claim core in this one. I'm gonna go. Yes, I know I'm leaving remote location. Stuck on something. Flap the core there, I guess. We'll faction this to Bab. And we're going to check the devices. Do you have a landing gear? 
No, no landing gear. Damn it. Why do you not have a landing gear? <sighs> You're going to make this so much more difficult. <laughs> <sighs> what? It doesn't have a landing gear. Oh, what did you laugh about? Oh, the drone coming in. <laughs> and then you shot it and it dropped right in front of my face when I was looking in the P menu. Um, we can't make landing gear. Gonna make this so much more difficult. Okay. Fine. Um, this one doesn't have a landing gear either, does it? No, it's got no landing gear on it. Right. Um, how much lift capacity does the ESC have? Probably not that much. Well, no, no, that's not going to work because the CV would need the docking pad to dock to the top of one of our ships. So that that's not going to work. You can't once it's docked, you can't use your thrusters. Um, well, okay. I guess we take this one back, load everything back up into the ESC and the mule. Come back for the other one. What is this we're doing? This camera does not like having a ship docked to the top of this thing. And I don't remember. Change the elevation of it. I don't remember how to change the angle of it. A nice little uh, weather event we're having today. Yeah, the the daily forecast shows green radiated nasty fog on the savannah today. Um, oh, I need to make a need to make a landing pad here somewhere. Uh, I'll just park you here. Okay. Get up top here. Stand on the ESC so that way I'm close enough to be connected. And with the drone. Oh, uh, can you pull the fuel out and have it connect to um, your ship? I need huh? the fuel. I need the fuel pulled out of this one, uh, and put back into storage in your ship. Which one is my ship? The ESC, the one you were flying. Ah. It did. I don't want to lose the fuel when I pull up the fuel tank. Okay. Feeling very comfortable and satisfied. Standing on top of a ship in radiated fog. And you shouldn't have any more thrusters on you. Okay, did you get all the fuel out of it? Or as much as you could? There's a bit more in it. Can you get it out? Yeah, it's all out. Okay. Or it's full. 
Oh, because those stupid cross block. Makes all the difference when you have such little storage. Um, okay, and did I grab the core? No, I didn't. Oh, because you can't grab the core with the drone. Oh, jetpack fail. Wait, what fuel was I supposed to take out? Uh, the fuel from this ship. The fuel tank in this ship that I'm standing on right now. What fuel did you take out? <laughs> well, I already picked I can't up. Can't even get into this one. I already picked up the fuel tank, and I've pulled the core. So ah. Okay, that fuel's gone. Okay. Okay. Air input. Repository. Might need those truss blocks for something. I don't know what. Amp box. Another repair tool. Okay, let's go back to the mule. Pick the things. And then... Storage repository. I'm only going to need one of each of these. I want to put the other ones back. Okay, back to the north. Bearing 350, something like that, and we should go kind of over the top of it. About halfway there. Remove that marker because it's not needed anymore. Oh. What I could do is just... Go on, HUD. Well, it didn't work. Weird. Okay, so you are right here. And if I land up here, pop out. Or in you real quick. Yep, back up here, we still should be connected, which we are. Drone. Let's set this to faction. Off, and let's get into slapping some components into this thing. Uh, let's see. Seat there, and then back here. Might have enough room for the stuff. Yep. Manage. So we do have some more fuel in the ESC. Didn't put all of it in. Now I've put all of it in, and then where are we going to put the thr thrusters? Would go back here. Do 
What direction are we looking? Go forward. Back. Not sure exactly where the left and the right are supposed to be, but I'll just... Get the back thruster. Back thruster can go here. No, actually, we already have a forward and a back. Uh, Go there, go there, the left and right. We have forward and back. I guess I'll just do up and down here. Not the way it's gonna be when it's actually built. This is to get it flyable to get it back to the base. Off. Cockpit. Okay. Full rotation and everything. And let's head home. So I think between these two and what I salvaged off of the junk drone, should be able to get something semi-decently sized. I'm not looking to make anything massive by any means. I just want to have it actually big enough to basically be a mobile bait. Way overshot the bait. Where are my markers? Um... Good point. Why do I not see any waypoints here? What have I pressed that's broken my waypoints? I think I've turned something off on my HUD here. Um, uh, press F6 until you get your stuff back. Did that work? Yes. Uh, base. A point. There we go. This just goes to show how much I r rely on the uh, the scanners. <laughs> okay, hey, 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 and off. Okay. Get the ESC parked back where it's supposed to be. Flies much better when it doesn't have all sorts of CV components in it. Hey, no. You are crooked. There we go. 
Uh, so we just have uh, a couple steel blocks that I'm going to crash. Base. Out of the fridge. Storage repository. You're going to go in there. Uh, let's see. Connect back to the fridge. Want to. No, I said fridge. I'm just hitting all the wrong buttons here. I will just go down to the fridge. Or not even the fridge, the food construct. Oh my goodness. Food processor? Food processor, yes. Words. Not coming out. Um, okay, we need a CV landing pad here. Nope. Any of the right buttons tonight? Uh, let me connect to the storage repository. And where are my concrete blocks? Concrete. 156. That will have to do. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll do it. About this way. I'm going to start picking up a wall. No, this is just going to be a landing pad for now. Kind of like a dry dock landing pad. Okay. Uh, how many did I come out? One, two... Six. Oh, four. out. This is one, two, six in the middle. Seventy more. How wide is this now? It's eight blocks wide. I want to have kind of ports underneath to be able to, like, maybe access stuff. At least my thought for now. There. There. Already connected there. So, structural stability should be good. This gives us some access points for, like, maybe some thruster placements. Oh. What? I didn't realize that's what you were doing. 
Yeah, I want to make this... So I want, like, the center of the ship to extend out. Yeah, I, want to, I want to make it so it's oh, wide enough. enough of the CV. Okay. Yes, this is going to be the CV landing pad. Um, I want to go pull this one over and see how it compares size-wise. To what I've just built. Oh my goodness. Stuff hung up all over the place. I need to make this significantly longer for what I'm intending. Because this thing barely fits on it as is. I want to make this thing bigger. I'm going to need more concrete blocks. We're going to need to make this thing a bit more structural stability going to the ground here. And we're probably looking at six. Really? What was that? Oh, it decided that it, it wanted to not connect. To the ground. So something like that. And then. Probably not too much wider than what's here, but longer and probably two stories. So that way we have a landing or we have a. Um, uh. Hanger, hanger, words. Oh my goodness. Get up top here. Look at this from the drone. Yeah, so that would give us enough section to have a... Um, what my idea is, is kind of like a mini Hakon, or Hakon, whatever it is. Um, one of the really large CVs, but it has an open docking section with like uh, the force fields. So you can like actually dock from either the left or the right, and there's no like docking door. So you can pull in a whole bunch of ships into it. And also just make a helicarrier. Yeah, we could. From a thematic standpoint, I don't like, even though I know that dock ships can't take damage, it seems they weird. They can't? They can't take damage. Even if the shield is not, even if the ship is not shielded, so like if we have either of our two SVs docked to the, to the CV, they don't count as a targetable grid enemy weapons. Only the CV that we're piloting can be hit. Uh, and apparently I just finished one of my quests. But you can never have too many constructors. We already have these. So the most important device of any survivor is the constructor. A large constructor, better than a small or craft in place, a I want to craft a large constructor. I already have one. I just want to place a large constructor. Darn it. Yeah, so basically I want to take this back section here from the break, recreate it back farther, basically split it down the middle and extend it out probably about four, four blocks left and right. 
Um, then I have all of this back here and then basically have this wide enough and I also want to make it uh, about twice as tall. It's going to be a lot of work. I know how I want to do it in my head. I don't know the thruster placements or like I don't really make like engineering rooms or warp rooms or med bays or stuff like that. I basically just typically make a carcass kind of how we make the how I make the base. I make a box, stuff everything into it, and it works. Um But yeah, I think the first thing to do on this is to um remove the broken blocks. Um And then I was thinking about maybe figuring out a way to incorporate both of these ships into one build. So instead of having like, like the, the cockpit down here, so like taking this this shape minus the engine nacelles and have that be uh, the cockpit. Ah. So kind of recreating that shape on the top, probably like back here. Um, I can see it in my mind. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it yet. I might need to copy and paste these into a creative session, like save the blueprints, spawn them in, and then figure out how they all piece together. This is this is way easier in space engineers because you have merge blocks. And you have you have the ability to like split ships apart into separate grids and then like remerge them in different ways and it's like there's, there's a lot you can do in Space Engineers you can't necessarily do in here, but there's a lot of stuff in Imperion that you can't do in Space Engineers. Like Space Engineers, unless you're playing heavily modded, it gets really boring because the only reason to build anything at all is to correct your own screw-ups. Like when you go to the moon and you crash your ship and then you're stranded there and now you got to like figure out how to get back and not die. That's typically the only reason I have to build anything in Space Engineers. It does kind of get a bit boring, per se. Uh, I've never played it multiplayer, other than, like, co-op. Um, I like the faction system in Imperion a lot better. The building system, to me, is a bit lacking in some of the functionality. There's still some... And Gary will back me up on this. There's a lot of block shapes that are still missing. It's gotten a lot better. We've got a lot more block shapes than we used to have. But we're still missing several block shapes um, to be able to make certain things possible. Um, and maybe I'll just make the front of this like a, a big like 3x3 three three grid of spotlights. It'll, it'll keep us alive because... All the Xerox do is they target the spotlights on it. <laughs> Instead of having like lag shot armor or like um, additional like uh, like um, extra weapons and stuff that are like disposable weapons that you're never going to use in your combat CVs, just load the front of the ship with just like row after row after row of like spotlights. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just being dumb now. <laughs> um but I do want to make sure that we have enough room for the ESC and the mule. Um, not really sure if we need... It served us well. It served us well. But I don't know how much we're going to use the junk hover vessel. Um, uh, probably not much. Probably not going to. I, I find that basically once I get SVs, I stop using hover vessels, unless it's a miner. 
and there's really no mining in Star Salvage. Um, there are some like salvage deposits and stuff like that where you can get like the scrap stuff, but I just don't see a need to keep the hover vessel. It doesn't have a it doesn't have a ton of storage compared to the mule. I mean, it does have a lot more cargo lift ability, so that's that's a plus. I mean, HVs can lift a lot more uh, than a comparable sized SV can, storage wise, from what I've seen, because those are really cheap. You don't have to worry about the up thrust so much. You're only getting like three meters off the ground. Um, but yeah, apparently I've got to craft another large constructor. So then, do you want the SV take or the HV taken down? Purposed into an SV or something? Um, a lot of the parts will not be... Yeah, but um, all the repositories will. The repositories and the extensions, the minigun... Um, the turret won't. Oh, the turret's only an HV? Yep. Really? There are SV turrets and there are HV turrets. There's not SV turrets. Uh, okay, fine. Most of the blocks can. Um... We might, we might make a small harvesting HV um, because there, and Know-It-All DM did let us know that he has a fix in one of his um, in-process builds for the plant fiber. And he says the workaround right now is you just take uh, logs and you craft them into plant fiber. That's what I've done. That's how I've gotten through some of the, uh, the medical craftings. Um, it works. It definitely does work. Um, do I have a large constructor in here? I actually don't think we have a large. Spare one. It will need one for the CV. I'll just make a and go and then I'll just I'll just pick this one put it back um, the I have no timetable on the CV build um, might might do it on camera a little bit might do it off camera I'm not sure it might be a combination of the two um, this one I do actually like as a nice starter CV for like planet side. Mostly complete. It's easy to throw the six directional thrusters on it that you need. I'm not sure exactly where the up thruster is supposed to go or the down thrust. Maybe there's supposed to be like an angled thruster there. I'm not sure. Well, I don't even think you can angle the small thrusters. It's like the meat. We have to place the constructor. Do this. To be able to slap it out here. Boom. Hey, I placed the large constructor. Why didn't you count? Oh, because I made it. Guess what I made, Dax? What? I made an advanced constructor. Oof. Well, we have an advanced constructor now. Um, which I will place down over here. Advanced constructor. Set this up. Um, input and then output is storage repository. And then where is that large constructor that I just picked up from? There needs to be a better sorting system here. Actually, 
which constructor did I make? I can't even make an advanced constructor. Where the hell did we get the advanced constructor from? I'm losing my mind here, Dax. Uh, okay. Ooh, yes! I've completed my advanced training. I can now unlock engineering. Engineering unlocked. That will help immensely. Now, if I if if I would have just spent like twenty minutes in the base finishing out those last two quests, I didn't realize that I had just small little bits left on that quest. We could have made we could have made docking pads, the docking pads, and done it in one trip. Because uh, if I look at here now. I would still have to unlock it. Landing gear. Boom. I can go in here under engineering. I can unlock landing gear. And we could have done it in one trip. Grr. I will try to remember that for next time that we do this. Okay. Um, Dax, do you have the ability, if you go into your solo missions, do you have advanced training option? Training? Yes. You might not be far enough into your, uh, your combat training to have that unlocked. Um, rank three. Okay. Do you see advanced training? basic training okay yeah you do not have so once you get far enough in your primary specialization you get an advanced training option uh like the basic training option and then it's like it's really simple um we have all of the stuff so you had to open your pda um i think it was like five five xerax forces uh, the medical was, uh, wasn't too bad because we got a full garden growing. Um, I had to craft 30 bandages, 10 antibiotic ointments, and 10 antitoxin ointments. We will have to farm more confetti moth down to like two. Uh, you got to make five emergency rations and then a large constructor. And then you'll be able to unlock your second specialization for exploration. Okay, I think we've rambled on enough. I feel dumb not having that finished before we went out for the CVs because that would have saved us a trip back and forth. Um, yeah, we're going to end it here. We are Dad and Dax Play Games. I'm Don. This is Dex. Have a good one.